Good afternoon and welcome to Interviews, the show about everyday people with extraordinary stories. My guests today are Emily Hagens and Eric Mock. Emily wrote, produced, and directed Pathogen, a movie about a pathogen that contaminates Austin's water, turning everyone into zombies. What makes this zombie movie so special is the fact that Emily was just 12 years old when she made it. Yes, that's right, 12 years old. Pathogen premiered at the Alamo Draft House when it came out. And then Eric Mock and a couple of other guys made a documentary about Emily making her movie. That movie is called Zombie Girl the Movie and is currently on the film festival circuit. Emily, Eric, welcome to interviews. Thank you. Thanks. Emily, I'm very honored to have you here. Oh, thank you. You're 16 years old now. What grade were you in, Emily, when you made Pathogen? I started it when I was in fifth grade, and but really uh, did most of the filming and everything when I was in between sixth and seventh grade. That is just incredible. I mean, this is a full-length movie. I want people to like really get <laughs> that, you know. Emily, when did you first get interested in making movies? Well, I'd always been a film geek, uh, always watching movies ever since birth, <laughs> as soon as I could. <laughs> and um, when I was about in third grade, we got a home video camera and my dad showed me how to make a a short film. So I started when I was in third grade making shorts until fifth grade and then started working on Pathogen. How did you come up with the idea for Pathogen? I hadn't seen a lot of zombie movies before making Pathogen. I wasn't a fan of horror or zombies at all. And then I saw this really silly zombie movie called Undead. It's an Australian zombie movie. And uh, I, I wanted to do something like that, something silly and scary and but with kids, because that's what I knew how to do. Most kids have big dreams, you know? Everybody, you can ask most kids, what do you want to be when you grow up? And they'll give you an answer. But very few turn those dreams or ideas into reality at such a young age. How did you come to believe that you could actually make a movie and then do it? I made the short films, and I guess it just didn't occur to me that I couldn't make a feature film. It wasn't really on my mind. I just knew it's what I wanted to do, and I uh, just started doing it okay but first you had to write a screenplay and that takes a lot of discipline I mean you wrote a so talk about that I started to really like zombie movies and I was watching a lot when I when I did start getting into writing pathogen which I wrote in Apple works on an old iMac so it's (laughs) like I didn't really know how long it was going to be I was just working as I went it wasn't a lot of um, planning ahead it was it was mainly just well I'll do this and then I'll do this and it was not I didn't really know where it was all going to go, except for I I knew I wanted to make this feature zombie movie. And uh, so I guess just liking making movies so much and not thinking too hard about how difficult it would be, I was able to just persevere and get it done. There are some adults in the movie. Yes. What was it like to direct adults to tell them what to do? There was a whole year of like starting the project and filming, but we didn't end up using that footage. But when we finally got the schedule together and started really filming, the first thing we did was the opening scenes that were, are the scenes with the adults in it. And I thought, wow, this is great. They're listening to me and not wanting to go and drink a soda. Or <laughs> was it awkward for you or just fine? Um, it was a little awkward because even though I was the director of the film, I did feel a little bit like these people are older than me using better grammar than me and uh but i th- i think it, it worked out really well um to to use adults especially getting started cuz i it kind of helped my confidence a little bit feeling like i was doing something professional mm-hmm. eric um eric mock who is also here he dir- he made a movie about emily making her movie what was your perception of that of emily directing adults for that first scene it wasn't just any adults. I mean, her dad was there, and uh, the other people that were there are really into the same kinds of movies that Emily is into. So they had kind of that innate uh, interest in the ty- what she was doing. But I think they were all just, like, really excited about the fact that she was doing this. So it was just like, you know, I want to help her see this through. You know, I just always remember just excitement and, yeah, we're doing this. You know, we're helping Emily make her movie. Emily, it took you about two years to make Pathogen. And this is kind of along the same lines of, you know, asking you about sort of sticking with the screenplay. How, has, how did you stick with it for so long? I mean, you were 12 and 13. Two years in an adult's life is maybe not so long, but in a kid's life, that's a long time. Well, it, it did get more difficult as we went along, especially post-production and 
uh, it was a lot more than I'd ever done with my short films when it came to editing and music and um, even filming. We had lots of extras and some scenes and um, I had just gotten to a certain point where I didn't think I would not finish it. Did that make sense? Like, I felt like I needed to finish it because I had been working on it for so long. But to begin with, it was just something that I was really into. And like I said before, I wasn't really thinking too far ahead with where it was going. Just like just passion for making movies was all in the beginning. But then the project was just so close to me for so long that I didn't want to let it go and just not finish it. Do you think if you had known how much work it would have involved that you would have stuck with it? I hope so. <laughs> I want to say I think so. I just, I just love movies so much. And uh, before I made any short films, it was uh, I never even thought about what went into the process of it. But having made the short films, really, just I think I said this before, but like it made me want to make the feature even more, knowing how much I love the process. Are you happy with the way that Pathogen came out, Emily? Ultimately, yeah. Like now. When I watch it, uh, I have fun with it, and having the distance really helps, but I know that it certainly did not turn out the way I originally planned when I was 12, and for a while that did bug me a lot, like, oh, this scene only has five zombies in it, and now um, I think it was just, I think of the experience more than the actual movie and how much fun it was to do scenes and everything, and uh, it's very valuable, and I'm very happy we had the documentary to show the process. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Zombie Girl, the movie, Eric. How did you know, actually, that she was making Pathogen? Justin and I were covering the independent film community for the Access Station, and I think Justin was kind of just sending out um, kind of form emails to filmmakers saying, hey, we do this show. Uh, w would you like us to come out and, and get some footage and make a little 10-minute segment out of it? And I think it went to Megan. I think it went to Emily's mom. And she emailed back and said, it's my daughter, my 12-year-old daughter who's making this movie. Do you guys want to come out? So instantly that was intriguing to us. And I, I think I called Emily after that. And we just talked a little bit about the movie. And it was like, you know, wow, you're really doing this. And we said, maybe this could be more than just a 10 minute segment. Maybe this, maybe we could just follow her and see if it turns into a feature. And it, and it did. Emily, at the time, how did you feel about being filmed while you were filming? Well, immediately um, when I talked on the phone with Eric uh, about, he said, well, maybe we might do a feature out of this. What do you think of that? And I mean, to sum it up, that's what he said. And I think I was even saying, yeah, sure, great. But, and I was like home alone over the summer. I hadn't even talked to my parents. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, let's do it. But having met with Eric and Justin and then talking with it as a family with, with my mom and dad and the filmmakers, we all seemed to agree that it would be a cool idea to have the documentary. Eric, as a filmmaker, what was it like to watch a 12 and 13 year old make a film? You know, did you want to help her? Did you want to give advice? There were definitely times when, you know, we we felt like we could easily make the situation easier for her. We had professional equipment that we oftentimes didn't even use that we were just lying around or in my car or, or things <laughs> like that. And I don't know, it was kind of a combination of obviously not wanting to influence. I mean, you're there, you, you, you've, you've got cameras there, it's going to naturally influence people, or it's going to naturally influence the environment, but we wanted to minimize that. So... You know, part of the story is the fact that her mom needs to use a paint roller as a boom pole, or you know, <laughs> they have to they have to improvise with what they have, and and that's part of the charm of making a 12-year-old making a, her first movie. But another aspect of it is that this was our first feature too, so a lot of these thoughts that you know in retrospect seem obvious at the time it was just like, you know, most of the time it was just it was just me or it was just Justin. Like we didn't have much of a crew. So like we had to think about every aspect of production while we're doing it. So oftentimes it was just like, is this in focus? Is the sound good? Like, am I on who I'm supposed to be on? So these things about, you know, me saying I'm a filmmaker, I wouldn't make these mistakes oftentimes didn't even enter my mind. It was like, I, I need to get the footage that I need to get. Emily, did you ever want to ask like, hey, can I borrow <laughs> your camera or, you know, some of their equipment? If I really needed help with something, I'm sure they'd be happy to to help. But otherwise, I, it was great that they just wanted to document it and not interfere. And I think 
that's the best way to shoot any documentary. And it's impressive that you did really, you know, make this movie with what you had, that you were, you know, incredibly creative and resourceful about, you know, putting together the tools. So you, you know, based on this whole interview, it sounds like you really do want to pursue a career in movie making. Yeah, most definitely. What aspect of it? Directing, for sure. I feel like when I write and direct, I feel like I'm limited by being a writer too. And um, I really, for my next film, I want to just direct and not write it. Very interesting. All right, that is all the time we have. Emily, thank you so much for coming on interviews. Thanks to you as well, Eric. Thank I you. appreciate you both coming on. Thank you so much, both of you. Thank, thank you. you. Again, Emily Hagan, 